today we shall deal about the internal structure of dicot stem and internal structure of a monocot stem it is the cortical region cortical region is divided into three regions what are they hypodermis middle cortex inner cortex so many regions three regions first one hypodermis second one middle cortex third one inner cortical region first we will see hypodermis it is made up of colon gyma cells and gives mechanical support see what are colon gyma cells they are ovoid shaped cells without intercellular spaces look at the diagram you you may find it cells without gap without intercellular space so such cells are called colon gyma cells how many layers of colon gyma cells 3 to 6 layers so hypodermal cells cons uh, sorry hypodermal region consists of 3 to 6 layers of colon gyma cells and it gives mechanical support second one middle cortex it is made up of few layers of colon gyma cells and it involves in photosynthesis due to the presence of chloroplast so what is colon gyma cells the parent gyma one of the parent gyma cells which contain chlorophyll is called colon gyma a kind of parent gyma cells which consist of photo uh, photosynthetic pigments called chlorophyll then we call those cells as colon gyma it is the last year portion I, i hope you can remember that so middle cortex is made up of few layers of colon gyma cells it it is involved in photosynthesis due to the presence of chloroplast third one inner cortex even you can see in the diagram the thin walled layer with the intercellular spaces so between the cells you find gaps you find space such that that layer is called inner cortex and it helps in exchange of gases also stores food materials the last one endodermis it is the innermost layer of cortex it consists of barrel shaped cells and it contains starch grains and these cells are called starch sheath it protects the inner layer sheath it guards it acts like a sheath the barrel shaped endodermal cells contain starch grain uh, called starch sheath next is the steel the steel has three regions pericycle vascular bundle and pith first let us see the pericycle it occurs between vascular bundle and endodermis it's also a multi layered region where you find sclerenchyma and parenchyma alternating patches and next is the vascular bundle we define the xylem and phloem in this region by four terms conjoin collateral end arc and open so you must know the meaning of these four terms what is conjoined xylem and phloem when they lie on the same radius we call such bundle as conjoined is it clear when xylem and phloem lie on the same radius we learned in root we saw their xylem and phloem in different radii here xylem and phloem lie on the same radius so we term it as conjoined next one collateral here xylem if lies towards the center and phloem towards the periphery we call such bundle as collateral xylem lies towards the center so we call it as collateral next one end arc so end arc is something related with the, you have to mention about the location of protoxylem protoxylem towards the center that means metaxylem towards the periphery 
understand so protocyte and the smallest xylem vessels lying towards the center such bundles we call it as endark fourth term is open when there is a layer called cambium between xylem and phloem we call such vascular bundle as open vascular bundle so in vascular bundle of a dicot stem is described by four terms conjoint collateral endark and open is it clear now the bundle is arranged in the form of a ring around the pith so this is about the steel next one is the pith it's a vast large area it is it has parenchymatous cells with intercellular spaces and so it helps in the storage of food material is it clear yes now we learned four terms to describe a vascular bundle what are they conjoint collateral endark and open right now here in dicot stem we say it is a conjoint bundle why xylem and phloem lie on the same radius we can very well see in this picture that one xylem phloem lie on the same radius second one we describe the vascular bundle by collateral what does it mean xylem lies towards the center see in the picture xylem towards the center towards the pith and towards the periphery lies the phloem such bundle we describe collateral third one in dark now look at the picture proto xylem towards the center the smaller size xylem facing towards the center facing the pith right ah, so it is called in dark last one open so this is based on the presence of cambium look at a small yellow color rim a layer between the phloem and xylem so if cambium present we call the bundle as open vascular bundle so describe the vascular bundle of a dicot stem how do you write conjoint collateral end or open so just giving a term for example if they ask you briefly you can explain all the terms right okay next we are going to learn about the anatomy of a monocot stem see you have a picture here looking at the picture the very prominent difference is the vascular bundle and the arrangement of the bundle on a tissue called ground tissue right so looking at the picture you find when you compare the this anatomy with the previous anatomy what we learn now that is dicot stem the unique different you find is the appearance of the vascular bundle so looking at this you can frame or you can uh, come to a point or solution or a conclusion that it is a monocot stem okay let's see the structure now the outermost layer is the epidermis it is made up of single layer of parenchyma cells and covered with thick cuticle and about the number of stomata either absent or very less in number the next epidermis is the hypodermis in the even the diagram you can find some 5 to 6 layers are there in between you find some green colored cells which are the chlorenchyma in between the chlorenchyma is the sclerenchyma so sclerenchyma and chlorenchyma frame the hypodermal region sclerenchyma provides mechanical support the third one is the ground tissue the mass the undifferentiated region normally ground tissue we say it is we should be they yeah, are differentiated into endodermis cortex pericycle pith but here looking at the picture or looking at the anatomy you won't be able to find where an endodermis is 
or the cortex is or the pericycle or the pith so undifferentiated ground tissue which is made up of parenchyma cells so you can say the layer very next to hypodermis is the ground tissue it is undifferentiated into endodermis cortex pericycle and pith right next one vascular bundle as i told you a very prompt prominent structure is there see like a human skull two eyes a nose and a mouth correct so they say vascular bundle is skull shaped and scattered in the ground tissue now when we talk about the vascular bundle you have to describe the bundle with different terms see i think you are very now very thorough with the term conjoint collateral end arc and the new term is closed the other three terms you learned in the dicot stem right now what is closed closed is no cambium present absence of cambium where do you find cambium normally in uh, dicot stem between xylem and phloem here between xylem and phloem no cambium so it is closed so vascular bundles are described as four terms conjoint collateral end arc and closed each vascular bundle is surrounded by few layers of sclerenchyma cells called bundle sheath so each of the bundle surrounded by a sclerenchyma patch in the picture you see the enlarged portion of this um, vascular bundle you find the bundle sheath too understand so this what the structure of monocot stem is it correct girls is it clear of okay. see about the anatomy of monocot stem in monocot stem the outermost layer is the epidermis it's made up of parenchyma cells but covered by a thick cuticle and the presence of stomata is very less in number so in monocot stem maybe it is absent or very less in number the next layer is the hypodermis you can see in the picture too hypodermis here you find sclerenchyma and chlorenchyma see green color patched cells or chlorenchyma the two layered polyp cells sclerenchyma so both of them are found in the hypodermic region so since sclerenchyma cells are there it provides the mechanical support so hypodermis made up of few layers of sclerenchyma interrupted by chlorenchyma sclerenchyma provides mechanical support and the next one you see the the vast tissue the mass of cells but it is not differentiated as endodermis cortex pericycle and pith you you won't be able to find very easily where the endoderm endodermis or the cortex or the pericycle or the pith so ground tissue the in a vast tissue but it is not differentiated as endodermis cortex pericycle and pith but here vascular bundle is very peculiar look at the shape of the bundle you it seems to be two eyes a nose and a mouth correct so that's why we say skull shaped the vascular bundle is skull shaped and scattered in the ground tissue so over the ground tissue different or many number of vascular bundle get scattered here also we are going to learn the same describe the same uh, the terms by learning vascular bundle conjoint so you can make it known from your previous class what is conjoint collateral end arc and close what's the difference between monocot and dicot in monocot you find another word closed what is closed then there we learned if cambium present it is open you look at the each bundle i have shown you a diagram of a, a single vascular bundle no cambium between xylem and phloem so it is closed vascular bundle and each vascular bundle is surrounded by a few layers of sclerenchyma so can you find that so there is this each bundle is surrounded by a sclerenchyma double layered wall layered cells the, those cells 
those layer is called bundle sheet right okay now today's assignment write the difference between monocot stem and dicot stem draw the structure of a monocot vascular bundle give an account on vascular bundle of dicot stem now answer for these three questions in your science notebook get it signed with today's date from your parent and submit it on the reopening day thank you